Good morning. It's Miss Ann. Today is Wednesday, March, not March, June, June 10th. Where did I get March from? Whew, we don't want to do March again. Uh, we are in the smack middle of our ocean week, and we are, let's see, what do we do so far? We did our scene. We did, um, so put everything in envelopes. We did the clownfish. We did a little clownfish. We did a big clownfish. Let me find my clownfish. That. It's like a baby, doesn't it? It's cute. Let me put this back. And today we're going to do an octopus. So, an octopus is in the mollusk family. Um, Mollusks are like shell, so I'm a little confused by them. They have eight legs. Um, they have a very large brain, and each leg has like a mini brain um, that takes care of it. So let me get my, I didn't get to color it yet, um, but does everybody see it? So how many legs did I draw? And if we were to draw an octopus, which is what we're going to do, we don't have to draw all eight legs because some of them you wouldn't see. So let's count the legs that I did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I did draw eight. Okay, and at the bottom of the legs or the underside of the legs are these um, suction cups. Uh, they, they're they sticky cups. They look like little, um, what do they look like? Um, and it's an, it, there's a lot of nice shapes here. This is, what is this? This is just an upside down U, isn't it? Upside down U. And we have some little ovals for the eyes. And then we've got, these are kind of like long, very long triangles, aren't they? And then they're all different kinds of colors. The ones that I saw that were the prettiest, they're kind of very strange looking animals and they live at the bottom of the ocean. Um, they're very shy. Um, I saw some really pretty blue ones, and I'll post that. Um, I'll send that so it can be posted. So let's get started. I'm gonna put this over here. Let's put all this over here. Okay, so we're gonna use, um, we're gonna use our paper this way. And let me make sure you can see that. Can you see that? Yep. Roxy just came in. It's very warm out today. Okay, so let's start with, um, we're going to make it this way because the legs are going to go all out like that. All right, so let's start with a nice shape upside down U. And you know what? To do an upside down U, we could turn the paper upside down. Oh, how easy is that? So let's just make a regular U. Kind of a soft U like that. How's that look? Does that look like a U? Looks like a pretty U. And then when we turn it that way, ha! Huh, we have the 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 body of the um, octopus. Oct. Oh, I guess I should write this out. What we're drawing? I can write it here. Oct is means eight. Uh, plus us. <laughs> I made a mistake. I was gonna. I actually start writing a B. Oops. Oh, man. So octopus. Okay. All right. So let's start working on. Well, we could put the um, the eyes. Now in my picture, we see two eyes, but one is kind of on the other side. So that's how we're gonna do it. So we're gonna make an oval here. Nice size oval. They actually have fairly big eyes. And then. that look and then like a half circle right here same size okay how's that look so far all right let's start with the legs let's let's count them together so we're gonna make these long triangles but the try they're basically triangular shape aren't they with the point at the end so it's one, two, 
And let's try to make them all about the same size. It's two. And they can go underneath each other. Like one can go under here. How many do we have so far? One, two, three. They look a little bit like snakes, don't they? Um, let's see. This can go over here. So it's one, two, three, four. How many do we have to make if there's eight? And we made four already. Eight minus four equals four. Let's make this one go underneath this guy. Okay, that's five. And we'll make this one come over here. That's six, so the two remaining we'll have behind. So we'll just show little parts of it. Seven. Let's make sure I count it correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we just need one more. Why don't we have it coming out this side? It's like coming from behind. How's that look? That looks pretty cool. I like that. Okay, now some of them, like you can see what I did when I did this one, I did little suckers, little suction cups. Um, on not all of them. They're on all of them, but you might not see them all. It depends on how the legs are sticking out. Um, I think on this one you may see them. And I think there's two rows. So we're just going to do ovals like that next to each other like that. How's that look? Does that look okay? And then maybe on that one, let's see. This one looks like it would have some. There. Maybe a little bit over here. I'm just doing half C's like that. Okay. A little bit over here. And maybe a little over here. How's that look? That's really good. I'm really happy with that. Okay, so let's get our blue pencil out, or crayon. This could easily be done in crayon. Um, so this blue, this is kind of light. Let's get a dark, let's use a darker blue. That's good, that's good. Okay, now this is gonna be, we're just gonna go back, oh, this is actually purple. That's okay. <laughs> we can make, we can make them any color we want, right? This is our ocean. Okay, I'm just gonna go around. Look at that. And they could get really, really small. Um, so they could get into really small places too. They can squeeze their body through really small places when they hide. And they do hide a lot. And how do you think they grab their food? With their eight legs. Yeah. Um, I'll put a video out of uh, some octopuses. I know there's a lot of uh, videos out there on YouTube of octopuses. I'll put one up there for you. Now, 
if you want. You can color it like rainbow. I mean, you can color it any way you want, right? Because this is our ocean. And how do you think we're gonna make some of these um, legs look farther away? How do you think we're gonna make them look darker? Hmm. How do you make purple look darker? What color would you add? Would you add the complement color? Where's my little... Oh, did somebody hide that from me? Oh, I don't know where it is. Here it is. Well, we'll talk about that after we finish. Um, and what color eyes would we make his eyes? What color would an octopus's eyes be? I have no idea. So we're gonna make them green. This is gonna be hard to cut out, isn't it? Man, it's got all these little, hmm. This is gonna be a hard one. We're gonna, well, we've been practicing our cutting skills since um, we've been doing this online classes. So we'll see how it goes. I've been practicing my cutting skills. I'm not a very good cutter. Okay. All right, so let's work on his eyes. His eyes, what do we say? What color did we say his eyes were gonna be? Green. Where's my green? It's green, yep. So let's make, um, remember this is the iris part and then we need to have the pupil. What color is the pupil? The pupil is the very center of the eye. That's black. That's too light. Can I get a black pencil out? Is that black? Yep. And what do we need to do? We need to do that little highlight. So we need a square of white. <laughs> it looks cute. Okay, I think this part would be purple too, because this is like his um, lower eyelid. Or her, this could be a female. Okay, so to make some of these look darker, what is the complement of purple? Hmm. How do we know what the complement of purple is? It's the opposite color on the color wheel, and this is the color wheel, so yellow. So this is gonna be crazy. We're gonna get our yellow, it's yellow. And which ones are the farthest away? I think this one and this one. So let's add a little yellow. That is a strange color. I don't know. Does that look like it's darker purple? It does, kinda. I don't know. To think about that. We kinda made it look gray, didn't we? Doesn't that look more gray? Let's see. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so let me just make sure we're good with time. Oh, we're perfect with time. Octopuses are actually really easy to draw. Um, so let's get our small piece of paper so we could fit it in our scene. So. How big should our octopus be? Our octopus is gonna sit down here. So, let's get the paper that we've been using. Um, let's see, it's gonna be, let me do a pencil square. I'm gonna use up this much space because they can be really big. They can be really small, but they can be pretty big too. So we're gonna just make it this big. And I think tomorrow we're gonna do a whale. Oh my goodness. Well, it's gonna take up the whole space. Okay, so we're gonna do the upside down U. So we're gonna turn our paper over and make a U, like a, a slanted U, like that. How's that look? Cool. And then we're gonna draw an eye. I might have made this eye a little bit too big, but that's okay. And then another eye over here. And we put some eyelashes in there. 
Okay, so now we gotta do eight legs. And they had to fit in this little square so we can have them kind of get curly cue, like curly legs like this. It's probably a little too skinny. I think I made the leg too skinny, but that's okay. Okay, one. Now we can have this one go behind this one. How's that look? So that's how many, how many legs do I have so far? One, two. Okay, um, let's do this one going over here. One, two, three, okay. This one is gonna go here. So that's four. Let's have this one go this way. Ooh, that's so thick. That's okay. So how many do we have so far? One, two, three, four, five. So we need how many more? We have eight legs total and we did five already. So eight minus five, if we take away five, is three. So we need three more legs. Okay, so let's do one here. And then let's have some legs that were behind. So let's just do like a little curly one here. That's seven. And then one coming out of here because it's coming from behind. Okay, so then let's put some suction cups on some of these. So they're just little circles like this. And they're, um, they're all the way up, but we're just making them on the ends. And remember, these were just these little, little things right here. Okay, now let's do that. Okay, all right, I think that looks really good. Okay, we're gonna color it the same color? We don't have to. Um, you can color it rain, rainbow. I mean, I'm sure, well, I'm fairly certain that octopuses are never rainbow color, but you can make it a rainbow color, because what did I say? This is our ocean using our imagination. So I'm going to use, I think, this purple because I really did like this purple. It's a really pretty color. I don't think I've used it before. I'm just going to go back and forth. This is going to be hard to cut. So I'm going to color his main body first. It's going to be really warm today, so I want you to make sure you drink a lot of water. It's really... I walked Roxy early this morning before it got hot out. And I could just feel it. How's that look? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, this is hard. Oh, I got a um. I have an itchy nose. I have allergies. My nose is always itching me. This time of year. Let's see. That looks good. Okay. 
them off. Okay, do we want to make some of them look a little darker? So, where was that yellow that we used? What do I do with it? Oh, this is it. And a little. The ones in the back. Oh, what color were his eyes? What color did we just say? I think we said green. So we're gonna draw the iris, which is the color part, green. And then the middle part is the pupil, and that is black. With a little bit of highlight. Cool, I like it, it's really good. So, should we get started cutting this? It's gonna be hard. I'm not gonna cut um, the in-between parts like that. That that would be too hard for me to cut. I'm not, I don't have good cutting skills. So, I'm just gonna cut around. So tomorrow, we're going to do a whale. Now there's so many types of whales out there. Um, hmm. I went on a whale watch. I went on two whale watches. Um, one was in uh, New Jersey and Cape May. And I saw no whales. I saw a lot of eagles. Not the football team. Like, really eagles. Um, but I didn't see any whales. And then I went on another whale watch in, I think, Seattle. I think, no, not Seattle. Um, where was I? Somewhere, <laughs> obviously. Um, where was I? Oh, um, in Canada. Okay, let's. I'm going to cut this part right here. I'm really kind of butchering this. Ugh. Okay, so I'm going to take all these little pieces and I'm going to throw them out because there's nothing I can do with those. But this paper here I can use for our other things we're doing. Okay, so let's get our scenery out. Just putting everything away. Okay, so we got... <laughs> See, he, he'll go in there. That's where he would live. And then we've got um, our little clownfish. Which I can't get. What do I do with our clownfish? Oh, I thought I put him in here. <gasps> there he is. There he is. It's upside down. That's never a good thing for a fish. Okay, there. Oh, I like that. And now the clownfish would be probably in here, in the seagrass or the coral. And the octopus would probably come out of here and then come over here. But mostly spend its, its life, um, its waking hours in there. Let me see. Can you see that? I think that looks so cool. Okay. All right. Okay. So I want you to have a good day. Drink lots and lots and lots of water because it's going to be really hot out. I think it's going to rain and it's only going to make it hotter and ickier. So I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.